Yes, Jessely, you have worked with second language learners in museums now for some years. Could you please tell me about your work and projects? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've worked at a number of different Danish museums on different projects uh, involving adult second language learners of Danish. And uh, these projects have involved the development of educational sessions uh, for language learners in the museum space. Um, they've also involved the production of a methods material and uh, a textbook um, where we use art and uh, sensory based activities um, to promote language learning uh, in the museum. Why is it particularly relevant to work with adult learners in the museum space? Well, there are a lot of different things. Um, you can say many, many things about uh, what what it does for for learning on both sides. Um, but if we take it from the language learner's perspective, um, first of all, they're they're able to use their Danish in an authentic environment. And when I say that, um, the museum is this kind of structured learning environment, um, but it's not quite as uh, void of context as it is when they're learning in the classroom. Um, and at the same time, it's not quite the same as being out on the street. So it's kind of this, this middle place. Um, and uh, when you have them at the museum, there's a lot of content-based language learning uh, that takes place. And whether they have an artifact in their hands that they're describing and, and uh, you know, improving their use of adjectives or, or whether they're looking at an artwork and, and, and are able to come up with the names of colors. There's a lot of things that are, that are happening both linguistically but also um, at many different levels. Um, and there's a, there's a much greater level of retention of both the language and the content of, of what they're learning. Um, and in addition, one thing that we've noticed that's particularly important is that there are certain topics that just maybe don't naturally come up all the time um, when you're in a classroom with different cultures, uh, with uh, different values and different cultural backgrounds. Um, and somehow in the museum environment, it's almost like there's this little secure space um, because you're looking at this artwork or you're looking at this artifact and somehow debates or, or good discussions are, are able to, to emerge. Um, and from the museum perspective, if I think of myself as a mediator, um, you learn enormous amounts about uh, both how you communicate, uh, what is it that you're actually communicating, and, and how do you take these things that you've talked about at, at different levels and break them down to the building blocks um, uh, that they are to, to, to get your message across to language learners. And there's a great deal of intercultural learning that takes place um, where we learn a lot about our exhibitions um, and about and and how things are seen from different angles that you perhaps haven't even haven't even considered before you have uh, these groups at the museum. Um, so yeah, it's 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 there's a lot of mutual learning that takes place. Okay, and what would be good advice for museums who wish to work with adult second learning language learners in a museum space? If you hear at last. Yeah, well, I would say it's it's really important as as it is with all mediation um, to know your target audience, um, and in in my experience, there's there's often a lot of preconceived notions as to where language learners come from in the world. Um, you might think they come from one particular country with one particular <laughs> native language, and in reality, there's such a huge variety of backgrounds. So so try to look at what. Uh, what brings these groups together. So what brings them together is that they're in a completely new cultural context, trying to um, accustom, become accustomed to a culture and trying to learn a new language. And if you take that as your starting point, um, then I think great things will come from it. Okay, thank you very much.